You're doing a great job. You've now completed the assembly. Now it's the time to take this thing apart to do an exploded view. So we're gonna actually switch from the design world in Fusion 360 to animation. So how an animation works is I can take this apart and it'll animate it exploding. But our main thing is we just have to have it animated. So right here, exploded. So right down here in the lower left-hand corner, it says storyboard one. I'm gonna double click on that and I'm gonna call that exploded view. Exploded view. And this is kind of my playhead of how I can animate stuff. And these are seconds. And right here, there's kind of like this staging area. So this is where I get things set up. So I kind of get this set up in the right view that I want it. Then I'm going to run the playhead out to about three seconds. And I'm going to click on transform and I'm going to click on a little drop down here and I'm going to hit manual explode. Auto explode doesn't work very well. So I'm just going to go to manual explode. And I'm going to click on each piece. So my green piece is the one that's going to stay there. And I want each one of these pieces to go in a certain or kind of out in all different directions. So I'm going to click on this piece here and it wants to come forward. I don't want it to come forward. I want it to go actually backwards. Let's see if we can move this out of the way. I want that to slide out backwards. This piece I want to slide up. This piece I want to come forward. And this piece I want to go out this way. So up, out, left, forward. I'm going to slide this explosion scale so I want to get it so I can see all the pieces. Now I can see all the pieces. I'm going to hit the green check. So what that's going to do is set this up. So I can see this explode out. Looks like they're all sliding out nice. Looks perfect. Now right now, I lost my timeline on the bottom. The only way to get that back that I have found is to go back to design, go back to animation, and now here's the timeline back. If I don't like one of the moves, I can look at that move by itself, and I can delete, I can do moves, I can change all of these. If I don't like any of these, I can delete them all and I can redo my moves. But I'm happy with how this is done. So that's how I created an exploded view in Fusion 360 for my wooden puzzle pieces.